Hello, so today I want to talk about my favorite foundation. Um, it's Jackie Oates from Blush. This is called a color supplement. They um, don't call them foundations um, because you can use this a few different ways. So you can either uh, mix any of their color supplements with a moisturizer or you can use it just straight out of the pot. So I use it straight out of the pot. I use um, a makeup brush. So this color is really good for me because I'm really fair, so it's hard for me to find um, a foundation that isn't too yellow or too pink or just overall too dark for me. Um, this happens to be the perfect shade for my skin, which is awesome because I really like how it reacts on my skin as well. I never find that it shrinks around my pores or it looks cakey or anything. It's a beautiful dewy finish um, that's really easy to put powder over because you don't get dried out because um, it does tend to be a lot more moisturizing than other foundations that I've found. Um, so I'll just show you how to use it. Um, I'm using my IT Cosmetics um, Velvet Luxe Foundation Buffing Brush. So usually I just take a little. Um, mine's about halfway gone, so it's kind of hard to get in there. Um, sometimes it's easier if you store this upside down. Uh, it doesn't pour all the way out, so it kind of stays right at the top, and it's easier to just dab your brush in there. So I'll be using my mirror here. So I just put a little bit all over my face and then I just buff it in. So I do have some blemishes today and some redness. This is really great for redness because it has oats in it, which is very soothing. Um, and it'll calm down that redness. And this is a thicker foundation too, um, but it doesn't feel heavy on your skin. It's nice and light once it sets in. And like I said, it never looks cakey, which is awesome. I usually have a lot of trouble with many foundations looking just like their foundation, just sitting on top of my skin, but this looks really natural. Um, so I find that I need to go back in a few times, but a little bit of this goes a very long way. Usually I start with just one little coat all around my skin, and then I'll go back in and touch up some areas. So um, I definitely have some red areas today that I'll have to go back in, but usually most of the time this will cover everything pretty well. I find that this is a little bit more coverage than your average BB cream, um, and it feels pretty similar in consistency. Um, it just, it feels very nourishing. Like I said, it's not heavy and it um, doesn't have any nasty chemicals or anything in it. So it definitely feels better on your skin. So I just buff it around. I've tried using this with a sponge. Um, I definitely found that the um, brush works better for me. It's just how I'm used to applying foundations. Um, and I have tried with my fingers. One time um, I was running late for work, so I was like, oh, I'll just do my makeup in the car, and I forgot to grab my foundation brush. So I was like, oh, I'll just do it with my fingers. Well. It's very streaky, so I would not recommend that if you want a nice, even coverage. But I do use this every day, and um, if you do have a lot of redness, like I know I have a spot here that would probably be best covered with um, a concealer instead of just foundation. Um, concealer goes over this just fine. I use a few different ones, and I've never had an issue. Um, Powders also look really good over this. They add a little bit extra coverage. Um, I know Lush sells one. Um, it is pink toned though, so if you are neutral, that's probably not going to work for you. I haven't tried it, but I can tell just looking at the picture, it's going to make me pink. So I'm probably not going to try it. I hope they come out with some new stuff. I know um, Oxford Street has some really amazing makeup. And I'm dying to get my hands on some of them. Um, so I hope they bring out some more powders. So I'm just going around patting some extra foundation over the spots that need a little extra coverage. We're just about done. And before I applied this, I made sure to cleanse, tone, and moisturize, as you should before any makeup application. I'm not um, wearing any, t any type of um, 
primer or anything. Um, this works well with primer. Usually if I'm doing this for um, like a dinner date or something, I'll do a little bit of primer and then powder on top and concealer where I need it. Um, but just for every day, I just put this straight on my face after I do my skincare routine. And I think we are good. So that's it. Um, pretty good coverage. Any super red spots, it's not going to cover all the way, but the oats are definitely going to help soothe you. Um, so you may notice a difference. Your skin might look better throughout the day. Um, I definitely do notice that sometimes. Um, so this is definitely one of my favorite products. You can read a full review of it over on my blog. I have a link down in the description. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.